The array modifier is a great way to duplicate an object along a particular axis or around a point in a circle. To start, let's add an array modifier to this cube. There are a few different ways to implement the array modifier. First is the relative offset. The relative offset duplicates an object along a particular axis according to its own width. So a factor of one, in this case, since this cube is two meters, one would be two meters two would be four, and so on and so forth. You can set the count of how many times the object is duplicated along the selected axis. This is not truly duplicating an object, as when you go into edit mode, you're still, still dealing with one cube. If you were to create any kind of changes in the mesh, you would, you would see that change across the array. The second array method is the constant offset. The constant offset uses the actual distance that you set here. The third method is the object offset. The object offset uses a different object to manipulate your primary object. So if we tab into edit mode, move the geometry along the Y path, and come out into object mode again, you'll see that our origin point is still at the center of the world. If we were to add a empty at that very same spot, we can now use this empty as an object to deform our array. So let's select that now. Now, when we rotate or move this object, our primary object will follow along, like so. This is how you'll make any kind of radial array. Uh, in other words, copying the object in a circle. One major feature in the array modifier is merge. If you were to use your relative offset to a factor of one, putting the object end to end, you can now merge these objects together so where this becomes important is, say we add a subdivision surface modifier. We now see that the cube has been subdivided and smoothed, but it doesn't actually stick together or anything like that. That's where merge comes in. Click merge, and they merge together. However, this still presents a few problems if we were to just array our cube with merge turned on. Let's turn on shading smooth, or smooth shading. You'll see that it's kind of messed up. It doesn't actually shade smoothly the whole way through. And the reason for that is that we have internal geometry. Let's turn off our array in the viewport and look at just the cube. Tab into edit mode, and along the x-axis is where our array is operating. So let's take the faces that are pointing in the x direction and delete them. Now, when we turn our array modifier back on, our smoothing is actually intact, and we don't have these uh, bubbles at the end either. So now we have sort of a tube. What if we have an array modifier set up on an object that makes a complete ring, such as this one? What we can do is turn on merging. And everything should be merging, but it's not apparent whether or not it is. Let's add a subdivision surface modifier once again. And now you'll see that there's a slight problem where the ring starts and ends, it doesn't merge. If we turn on first and last copies under merge, this resolves this problem. What if we have an object for which we want to array, but have the front and back of the array, or start and end of the array, be different objects than the primary? This cylinder, for instance, can be used as a rocket, but we want a front and back to it, and we may want to make a few different sizes of rockets. So let's go down to caps under the modifier. Now, I have a few other objects that I've created ahead of time on this hidden layer. With our primary objects selected, we can use the eyedropper to select what we want at the start and end. Now we have a rocket that we can have a variable size. Now you have mastered the array modifier. If this video has helped you in any way, and you make some sort of artwork using the array modifier, please make sure to put a link to your project in the comments below. If you're posting it to Facebook or Instagram, make sure to tag BlenderForge. And as always, like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. This has been Carl with BlenderForge. Happy blending!